Welcome back to Patman Garage. So today we're gonna do a little discussion. Um, so this is gonna be a, like a two or maybe three part series. I hadn't figured out exactly how many uh, segments I wanna do for this, but um, basically um, I got a lot of new people to uh, my channel and to uh, following me in general uh, over the years. So. Uh, or recently that haven't been following me over the years um, so today I wanted to talk about the history of my truck aka Fiddy um, so uh, October 25th 2003 I purchased the truck uh, brand new in uh, Prestige Ford Garland Texas um, in August 2005 I joined the internet forum F-150 online this, that one, um, in, and that was my my uh, fr my best friend's suggestion, and uh, I've always been into cars. I was in tech school for uh, automotive, and uh, he suggested that I get on a internet forum, and F one fifty online was the place to be for many many years. Um, so I learned a lot from there. Um, and had lots of new ideas as a result of my time on there. Starting in November of 2005, I started building my sub box. Um, this doesn't really sound like much, but um, this involved replacing the 60% rear seat with a 40% and then custom building a uh, sub box for two, two 12s down firing, a bunch of complicated angles, um, and then complicated volume to make sure that the floor kind of comes up and the box tapers down at the same time um, so I had to make sure that it was actually set up where the volume was equal between the two subs um, so lots of complicated math there but it uh, it was an enjoyable experience and a uh, good learning experience too December 2007 um, I built my very first Patman um, grill so that was a honeycomb shaved grill. So that was a emblemless grill. Uh, what's interesting about this is after having built it about four or five, maybe six months later, uh, there was copies of my grill that were being sold on eBay. Um, they hit the 0408 market first and then followed shortly after on the 10th gen but basically I pioneered something that no one else had ever done before hand hand built it and then uh, once it, the internet got a hold of my pictures then somebody decided to start producing them um, they were a cheap China knockoff whereas mine was a actual Ford grill that was modified so it fit and looked like it belonged um, this was also the first time that I really started uh, branding myself online as Patman. I mean, I've always had it as a screen name. Um, and there's a whole backstory for Patman itself, but um, I can go into that at a later time. But um, the Patman Grill was kind of the first thing out there on the internet that I did that um, people started you know, I kind of started making a name for myself, if you will. Um, October, end of October 2008, um, I bought my lightning wheels um, from Tom's Wheels. Um, that was kind of a big milestone for me. It was one of my first big purchases. That was just a, you know, a thousand dollar purchase. And as a kid just out of college um, and working my first job, that was that was big money and I mean it's thousand dollars is still big money don't get me wrong but I, I saved for I think like six or seven months before I had that money love the wheels uh, those are the ones I just finally replaced with the uh, 0304 lightning wheels that are a little bit lighter um, I still have my chrome 0102 wheels um, I don't know that I'm gonna sell them because I like them so much but we'll see um, and then we kind of turn into the dark era, unfortunately. Um, so in 
February 22nd, 2009, uh, I was involved in a collision. I was leaving my neighborhood in Austin and uh, a lady backed out of her driveway without even attempting to look for oncoming traffic. And this is not just a regular residential road. This is two lanes with a divided median and her house backs up to it. Um, doing 30 miles an hour, by the time I realized that she was actively coming towards me in traffic, you know, most people kind of back up to the end of the driveway and kind of stop. Um, and then would then proceed out. And so right at the time I was expecting her to stop and then she was accelerating towards me, I, I had nowhere to go except for cram right into the back of her van. Um, so that was, that was pretty tough. Um, my girlfriend was with me and uh, the, the truck was hurt. It wasn't that bad. No airbags were deployed, anything like that. Um, unfortunately, it was right at that threshold where the truck was um, six, seven years old and values had started dropping on them. And uh, there's a lot of, a lot of damage. Um, all fixable stuff, but a lot of damage. Uh, so insurance ended up wanting to total the vehicle. Uh, part of that also had to do with the fact that I had a bunch of after aftermarket non XLT spec, but Ford parts. But I had the I had lightning headlights. I had uh, the STX valence. I had Harley Davidson fog lights. All that stuff is super high dollar stuff. Um, so insurance totaled it out. They uh, we settled on a number. I was utterly devastated. This is my truck I bought brand new. This is my truck. Um, and I lost it. it. It went to insurance and that was... Um, I was on my parents' insurance plan and they, they didn't want me to have to have a salvage title. They didn't want to have to deal with uh, the repercussions of all of that. And, you know, I needed something to drive every day right then. I didn't have time to rebuild it myself, and I didn't really know what I was doing at that point either. Um, so, shortly thereafter, um, after signing the truck over, um, I bought a replacement, another 2003, another XLT, exa exactly the same options, 4.6, pretty basic. Uh, that, that one was red. Um, and then all of a sudden, in, uh, it was about middle of May, uh, my truck resurfaced. And it had been, I hadn't seen it in three months. I was convinced it was going to be gone. I was convinced it was going to be on uh, running up and down I-35 and towing four cars behind it heading to Mexico. That's just what used trucks did at that point in, in, uh, in their life. And... Uh, it resurfaced in San Antonio. Uh, I, I was living in Austin. It was wrecked in Austin, and uh, it was about an hour away, and uh, in San Antonio. And uh, it went on eBay, and it was sort of fixed. It was there. It, the truck was there. It was all together in one piece, uh, but they had a. China fender on it, a Taiwanese bumper on it, an aftermarket grill shell. It was it was all cheap parts thrown at it, and structurally none of the structure was fixed. They somehow straightened the factory aluminum hood. I mean, it was some pretty uh, creative solutions for it. Um, so it actually bid all the way up to eighty five hundred dollars, if I remember correctly, on eBay, and the winning bidder backed out um, and I happened to be heading down to San Antonio and uh, I convinced my dad who was going with me to just go hey let's just go look at the truck I don't have money I've already bought a new one I've already bought the replacement and uh, you know we weren't in a position to buy it but I was like I just gotta go see it uh, so we went to go look at this play, this truck in San Antonio on the uh, on the way down to Beeville and uh, got to drive the truck and was just you know it was 
lower than I remembered. It, the windows were darker than I remembered. It was like for having only been gone for a couple months from it, it was pretty wild. Um, how much lower the truck felt, how much louder it felt, all that. And uh, while I was test driving, apparently my dad negotiated with the guy and uh, they came and agreed on a number and it, it was significantly less than what it got bid to on eBay. Uh, so that was interesting. And uh, so I came back and they were handing me keys and telling me it's mine. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I just came to drive it and see what's going on with it, you know? I missed it. And uh, so I went to bind it back and then my parents took my red truck to use because they needed a vehicle as well um, at the time. So I then took on my salvage title, sort of fixed, but it's my truck, it's my baby. Um, so I got it back in, uh, on 6-20-2009 is when we bought it back. Um, in September 2009, I got rear-ended in this truck. And it was a pretty significant rear-end collision. Uh, again, this is 2009. This was the dark eras for this truck. Uh, 2009, the rear-end collision, uh, I was coming downhill at a stop at a stoplight. And it was kind of a cold, rainy day. And I stopped and the fully loaded Suburban that had five passengers in it behind me couldn't stop. I, It was a kind of a quick stop for me, but you know, just a normal stop. Like I wouldn't, I didn't activate ABS or anything like that. And I remember looking up in the mirror and this Suburban just as hard as it could and ABS just clicking away and just slammed right in the back of me. And of course being lowered, um, a lot the suburban basically went over the top of the bumper it hit the bumper but the most of the impact was to the body um, just absolutely annihilated the tailgate and bed bedsides um, but all that stuff's easily replaceable um, and most most vehicles get hit in the front so you know you have t-bones and you have front end collision stuff like that generally st statistically speaking most vehicles have front end impacts on them um, so insurance on a salvage title was able to fix the vehicle. They put a new bed on it and new bumper on it and, uh, truck was down for about a month and, uh, here we are. So, uh, the only good thing that came out of that was, uh, it was at my buddy's body shop in Plano. Um, and I was able to scrounge up a little bit of extra money and, get the tailgate shaped at that time. Um, so they were already going to paint the uh, the bed and the paint the tailgate and everything else. So there was no any additional, it was just body labor at that point to get the tailgate shaped. So that was a nice upgrade for all the inconveniences of losing your vehicle again, right after you just bought it back. <laughs> uh, so uh, shortly after that, in November 2009, I built some one-off uh, Range Rover LED paneled uh, LED taillights. So these are the, f they appear to be the factory XLT flare side slash super crew taillights. And I cut out the inside of them and custom mounted uh, LED boards on them. Um, so that was kind of one of my, you know, I did the Patman grill, but wasn't that big of a, project. This was a, a big project. This involved rewiring. This involved uh, both rewiring inside the truck and outside the truck. And uh, it was cool. I was really glad to be able to do that. And I was working at Land Rover at the time, so I was able to have access to LED panels. This is 2009. Uh, you know, LED taillights were the future. I mean, it was unheard of to have an LED panel taillight. LED replacement bulbs didn't even exist at this time. Um, so fast forward to, oh, and you know, having brighter, more efficient taillights also made me feel a little bit better about hopefully not getting grounded in the future. Um, in September of 2010, I uh, began on my first 
console shifter project. Um, so this was, you know, 470 transmission, and I used a 2006 shifter in a Harley Davidson O2 Harley Davidson console, and uh, so swap the flow flow through center console matches the back sub sub box behind me, and was able to custom mount that shifter in the uh, console. So that was a big undertaking, lots of wiring, uh, not lots of wiring, but at the time it felt like lots of wiring, um, custom bracketry, and uh, was able to make that work. So that was neat. Real quick thing on my list here, November 2011, um, I just had this Facebook memory come up. This is the first time I did a over under. I uh, found a random uh, at the apartment complex I lived in. There was a random 12 foot tall Super Duty and just parked under the back end of it. Um, so that was kind of neat. But um, in February of 2012, I did my uh, dash bubble. Um, and those are the two French. Uh, French in gauges that are in this the big dash bubble next to the center con or next to the instrument cluster. Uh, the reason that's interesting or worth mentioning, obviously, it's a really cool looking piece, and I wanted it to look like a factory piece. Uh, what makes this funny is uh, you may recall in end of last year I, when I did the wiring for these. That was the first time that I did the wiring for these, so it was kind of a ricer for a long time that I had these gauges in there and I just never had built the circuitry on the engine bay side and put the sending units in and all that. Um, so when I built this, I had no earthly idea that where I would be taking this truck in, in the late uh, teens and early 20s era. Um, and then... Uh, we start talking about where uh, we get in the Coyote Swap stuff. Um, in February 2017, I bought the Coyote. Uh, drove to Houston to a junkyard, and this was pre-Hurricane uh, Katrina, was it? Ooh. Harvey. Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. Hurricane Harvey, the one that was really bad for Houston. Um, so this was before they had all the flooding. So I felt pretty comfortable buying it. Uh, the Coyote came out of the 2015 F-150, had 8,400 miles on it. It had less than 10,000 miles, so I also felt pretty safe about that. Um, you know, it wasn't like a ridiculously high mileage vehicle. Um, and I was able to roll the engine over by hand and feel the, feel the compression. And it, 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 it was a gamble and a lot of money, but I felt pretty confident with it, with the purchase. Um, and then in November 2017, I uh, started tearing down the 4.6 and pulling the front end off the truck and all that. And uh, that's about where my YouTube stuff picks up. Uh, so in my other video, I want to do, want to discuss more of the details of the Coyote Swap stuff. So I get a lot of people asking me, how did you do this? What does this look like? Um, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to kind of go through all that. Um, and then I think I'll break this up into the third part. And the third part will be discussing uh, man hours and prices. Um, so we're going to kill this one here. I'm coming up on 20 minutes on the video. So thank you for your attention. Um, and we'll... Uh, Stay tuned for the next one. How about that?